joined Oliver Wyman in 1991, straight out of Princeton University. I've been working with Oliver Wyman for three years and I'm based in Hong Kong. I did my MBA at Wharton and then interviewed with Oliver Wyman for a summer internship and worked in the Frankfurt office. I'm originally from Anchorage, Alaska and I now am in the Boston office. I joined as an analyst at 22 in London, out of Cambridge. I studied law and business administration back in Madrid and when I finished I started in Oliver Wyman. of Trust and Safety for eBay UK. I work in the Dubai office of Oliver Wyman. I run a production company. Well, returning to the firm when I was 29, I directed by the time I was 31. I'm a general manager at Yag Travel. I am the executive dean at the Kennedy School of Government at Harvard. I'm the founder and chief environmental officer of TerraPaz. Who here has any experience in sizing any of these markets? I had a rather eclectic career when I was at the firm. I started off doing primarily environmental work. Then it evolved to doing a lot of heavily regulated industry work uh, because of my background on the economics of regulated industries. And then it evolved that I did a lot of work in the telecom sector. And I really liked the variety. I mean, the chance to work on multiple problems uh, was, was just fascinating to me. I liked the intellectual challenge and I liked the, the pragmatic challenge. I liked being able to go work for multiple companies, help them solve their problems, and help them just perform better. And I like the fact that there were a lot of really smart people that I could work with and that I could learn from, and hopefully they could learn from me as well. So I stayed primarily for those 13 years because I kept getting new challenges. I am the president of Kiva.org. Uh, Kiva.org is a website that lets you make a microloan to entrepreneurs in the developing world. You sift through profiles of someone who needs a rickshaw in Pakistan or someone who needs a sewing machine in Honduras, someone who's living in poverty, and you can make a $25 loan, and just that amount of money can actually transform someone's life. Kiva today is now just three years old, but it, it's on fire. So uh, now, virtually every seven or eight days, we're raising $1 million from the internet community, uh, $25 at a time. My time at Oliver Wyman is actually one of the most important things in the development of my professional career. It, it allows people who work in a very ambiguous environment to come in and quickly create structure and, and have the analytical rigor, essentially, to analyze things and break things down and then solve them one by one. And if you get really good at that, then you can eventually find yourself leading teams, creating new companies, and really changing the world. I was at Penn, I was in the Wharton School the undergraduate program. I saw Bill Wyman, Oliver Wyman, so founders coming, you gotta go hear the founder speak. And I was captivated by him. And what impressed me the most was the culture that he and his colleagues had created for a firm that would be able to deliver excellence in a way where the people who worked at the firm were treated very well, where the culture was very collegial. The work that I did at Oliver Wyman was an incredible learning experience for almost anything. I had presented to CFOs, to senior management of several very large financial institutions, and I was quite young. Every project I worked on, the person that I worked directly for was someone who influenced me tremendously. I can think of you know, a couple of the directors who really spent a lot of time to help me grow, help me deliver whatever it was to the client so that I could get to that next step in my professional development. You know, that was very much part of the culture of the firm. You can travel the world at a young age. I was able to do that and get exposure to pretty high levels of business without having to slowly climb the corporate ladder. Early, mid-20s, all of a sudden I find myself presenting to board of directors in Seoul, Korea. Here I was in front of all these, you know, curmudgeonly oil guys, but I was able to deliver the presentation in a way that was compelling and interesting and credible. I just got back from a long shoot in Africa filming a feature film documentary about three men running across the Sahara Desert. They ran 45 miles a day for 111 days across six countries. It's narrated by Matt Damon and executive produced by him as well. So I'm in the middle of the Sahara, and I am running 
financials to understand where we are in the budget and where we're supposed to be and <laughs> where we need to get to. That was a skill that definitely, definitely harkened back on some of the stuff I did at the firm. It was sort of nostalgic. It reminded me of first landing in Seoul and just being very young. And I kind of drew back on that experience a bunch of times. I started off in the industry at Citibank. Then I went to another consulting firm and joined Oliver Wyman as a direct entry partner. I was immediately accepted as a partner uh, and also given runway to build what, what I could build. And I was only limited by my own uh, imagination. I believe we build the foundation for a world-class management consulting firm. But it was a team effort. I'm partial to people who have the intellectual athleticism of an Oliver Wyman background. It's really only for someone who values highly analytical work, who has a desire to solve tough problems and who wants to challenge themselves, both physically and mentally sometimes, in delivering value to clients when they themselves sometimes can't execute or answer tough questions. And that's not for everyone. That's only for self-motivated, bright, highly analytic um, dreamers who think that they can do things with clients that others can't. I've worked very widely during my time at Oliver Wyman. I've worked for big, big investment banks, some of the biggest names on Wall Street, and I've worked as well for more of your local retail banks. I've worked for the insurers. I've even worked for some non-financial institutions more on the financial risk side of their businesses. I've worked for the big asset managers and the big pension funds as well. When I joined the firm in 1999 as an analyst, I joined as a generalist and spent the first five years um, with the firm working on a variety of projects across a range of industries from oil and gas to airlines to um, rail car leasing, uh, but also had the chance to work uh, on a project for uh, the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization. And that was my first experience in working with a large global public health organization. I've just returned from nine years abroad and last week joined a nonprofit called Sea Change Capital Partners as a partner. I, I've always been involved in the nonprofit world in some way. Alex Oliver, who was really the prime mover behind the firm in the early 90s, always encouraged us to do not just our day job, but to do other things as well, things that, that made us good citizens. It's amazing how the company's grown to me from the outside. I mean, let's face it, consulting, there's no special formula. Your assets go up and down in the elevator every day. And to have grown so much so quickly, it, it must be because Alex and Bill had at heart a very good idea. When I was at Oliver Wyman, the twin currencies of the realm were intellect and, and curiosity. If you had those attributes, the fact that you hadn't studied business or gone to business school or known much about financial services or accounting, would quickly be remedied. After Oliver Wyman actually was headhunted to go to Air Canada to head up the commercial restructuring of Air Canada in the late 90s, I did that. I masterminded the merger of Air Canada and Canadian Airlines. And after that merger, we decided to create subsidiaries out of parts of the airline. One of those was Aeroplan. The original genesis of the idea was actually a project that we did work with Oliver Wyman on about how to create a separate entity out of a frequent flyer program. And here we are now, what, six or seven years later, and the turnover is almost $1.4 billion. The most important thing, in my view, is to get diversified practice in the real world. One of the key things about consulting is that it gives you exposure to many different business challenges in a very compressed time frame. Uh, Oliver Wyman does projects all over the world, all sorts of different industries. And if you can get that kind of experience under your belt early in many different business environments, you will end up in the middle of your career with a set of skills and experiences that are second to none. The very best thing about Oliver Wyman is its people. The people. The 
very best thing has to be the people, hands down. I totally agree, the people. The people. The laid back style and uh, the intellectual capital that we have. The challenges. The best thing about Oliver Wyman is the culture of disciplined, analytic teamwork. The people. The people. The people. The constant growth, the evolution, the change. The people. The people. It's the exposure. The people. The best thing is, is the people. I love the people, I love the work. The people. The people. I learned that uh, I can I can get her to eat a lot of oysters. <laughs> Probably just betrayed myself as a total and utter geek. Not to me. <laughs> I can always count on my hands. <laughs>